First thing we need to understand is that DVDs are only standard definition. So even with your 720p file, then um, Wondershare is is muxing that down to standard definition to get it on a DVD. So we may as well take control of that and, and um, create the MPEG-2 for the DVD ourselves, because that's the format you need. You need a standard definition MPEG-2. So um, if uh, we just stick that on my timeline this is my chicken Fletcher and I'm just going to export that so if we go share we're going to export this in the highest quality we can so I'm going to go to file um, and we want quality best ProRes whatever ProRes file and we'll go to next chicken timeline. I'm just going to stick it on the desktop and save. So um, that file has render, rendered. It's a chicken timeline mov, which uh, we can see here. That's our high quality ProRes in, in HD. We now need to get some software to turn that into an MPEG-2. So the software I use for that is called Shotcut. Uh, so you need to go to shotcut.org and click on there, download the Mac version, uh, download and install that. Um, you might need to change your privacy um, and security settings to enable you to run it. So if you go to security and privacy here in the system preferences here, allow apps downloaded from the App Store or App Store and identify developers. Uh, because they're not uh, an identified developer, you will, when the first time you run it, you will have to right click on it, click on open, and then it will run. And while we're online, there's another bit of software we need to get, which is at sourceforge.net. Um, and it's a bit of software called Burn. So Burn OS 10 usually brings it up. That's the one there, so click on that and click on download uh, and install that and the same thing will apply. You'll have to right click on it. Uh, don't worry about the kind of security thing, they're perfectly good bits of software that I've used for years, so um, that's all cool. Okay, so that's that. Uh, so in Shotcut, so I'll assume I've just installed it, so I need to right click on it like I was saying, click on open. You'll probably get a security prompt there to confirm opening it. Uh, then we want to take our chicken timeline ProRes, open that up. Okay, so now we need to click on export there and it brings up all these stock presets for export formats that you can use. We need to find the DVD presets and we need a uh, DVD PAL in widescreen. Uh, which gives us a 720 by 576 image, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 25 frames per second, which I assume is what your video is. It's an MPEG-2, which is what we need. Audio's AC3. Okay, so that's all good. So we click on export file, and we have to leave that file extension in place, and we have to call it whatever we want, really. I'm just going to call it Fletcher. Uh, and click on save. You can see it's now turning that ProRes into our MPEG-2. Okay, that's done. So there it is on the desktop. And you can open that up with um, something like VLC. There we go. So there it is in standard definition for our DVD. But what we need to do now is to make our DVD. So in order to do that uh, we need burn which at the moment is sitting in my downloads folder so we'll open that up and so you've got several different types of disk you can make audio discs, data discs etc or you can copy a disk with this. We obviously want the video tab and on this section here we want to select DVD video Okay, now there are a number of options in preferences uh, for DVD where you can have a theme which gives you a menu 
uh, which is kind of the default setting when you install it. I suggest you select wide rather than normal, otherwise you'll get a 4x3 menu instead of a 16x9 menu. Okay, so we just add our VOB file into there and it checks it. Hopefully it'll be happy and you click on burn.